Hey guys, thank you for coming to the lesson and today we're going to do something fun related to lines. At this time the students they already know what are the different uh, parts of the line. They already know what is a ray, what is a line segment, what is a line. So today we're going to see the relationship between the lines. And in order to do that I have two volunteers that they're going to present the first story. So in this first story we have two friends that they were in different schools in different places and uh, they are going to walk and you're going to see how happy they are because they're going to get to know each other so you guys can they're happy they're looking at each other and if you see they started from different points and they ended in the same point so this you can use these two lines you're going to see how in this story the first one that we did we have how the lines, there's two points that they were away and they're getting closer and closer and closer. When we have this situation, we call this ones convergent lines. And convergent lines are actually a happy story because they get to meet together, so they're happy. And we know also from Latin that a convergent line are lines to tend to meet in a point or line. So when they are tending to meet on one point, we say that is a convergent line. Now we have a second story. And we have our friends right now. This is going to be a story in which Christina and Isaiah, they were in the same school, but now they're going to move to different schools. So they look at each other and they're very sad because they get to, you know, they're not going to see each other again. And that's why they start. So you guys? If you see, this is the opposite of the one that we did before. So now they were in the same point. And they now they're moving from each other. So we can see how the distances are getting bigger and bigger. When we have a situation like this one, the two lines that are getting away on, from each other, we call those divergent line. And also they come from Latin. Divergent is to move in different directions on from a common point they're moving from that common point and of course this is a sad story so you can hear we didn't do it before but here we can see isaiah and christina how in the first story they were getting together and it was a happy story and now we can see how they're moving away the last story is uh, in this case we're gonna think that there's two kids one probably is in Spain, for example, and the other one is America. They don't know each other, and that's okay. So they're going to move around, and they don't even look at each other, because you don't have to know everybody in the world. So we're going to see how they do the story, how they walk. Okay, you see, they don't get to see each other. They don't get to, because all, all the time, the distance between the lines is always the same. They will never meet. And again, as we said, it's okay. I don't know everybody in this world. There's a lot of people that I don't know. And I will never get to meet. So this is a story that we call, like it's a medium story, like the student says, so-so story. And we call this ones parallel lines. So now we can get ready to do some um, work with convergent, divergent, and parallel lines. A good extension could be they can draw, they can maybe draw in a house, or maybe draw in some kind of background, and then they can identify it on those lines of the drawing if they are convergent, divergent, or parallel lines. You can also include it on that, the idea of your rays. If they draw the sun, they can have sun rays, or they can have other options like uh, um, segment, line segments, or maybe lines, so curve lines, zigzag lines, and all that stuff. Okay, so thank you for coming to the lesson. I hope you enjoy and check out the other videos.